to know. Let me just click that off. That's it. Hello, everyone. Um, so I'll wait to see if Vera's coming on because something bizarre is happening. Um, let me get the feed up on my phone. Uh -huh. Click that off. Uh, I just bear with me a moment. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, there's one comment. Is that Vera? Hi, Vera. Some strange things are happening. I've had to email you the code, Vera, because twice I messaged you to say that. Um, I had to do a food delivery because I had no food in. So I had to do food delivery so it can be here, not, not tomorrow, the next day. So I had to do that. And then um, I had, then had to get something to eat. And when I've, I've typed out all this long message for you, put it on there, didn't come through the first time. So I did it again, didn't come through the second time. I then tried to message you on the classes chat, wouldn't let me do that. So I know I've got a ban on, but I don't think my account's restricted anymore. Here she is now, I'm gonna explain to her. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> I don't think many people will be awake right now. Mm. Although it's a plus day in the, in the USA, isn't it? In Eastern anyway. It's earlier Pacific time. I gotta stop my echo. Okay, love. I don't know if you heard any of my ramble just now. <laughs> That's why I looked at the at my email because I didn't hadn't seen that come in. <laughs> I know. Now, how bizarre! I don't know why. I see. I had my account restricted, and it say that I wasn't allowed to participate in any groups. I thought that was group chats, you know, but. Uh, I don't know whether or not they're stopping me from messaging on the classes chat or on, yeah, I just don't know, but I put three messages on there and they've all disappeared. They let me type them out, but then I disappeared. Bizarre. Anyway. Uh, well, I didn't have any problems because I messaged you. Is everything okay? Or everything okay? Yeah. I'm able to get them. I just can't send them. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I know. I said to Greg, oh my God, what are you done? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that's very clever. It's very ingenious. I found yes. it while I was going through all this stuff. <laughs> very ingenious. It's, it's like it's that. It's tiny. But it's perfect, isn't it? <clears throat> so, what I was thinking is because obviously it's getting late. So I thought maybe if I did the reading and then you just did a little bit on the on the end, what do you think? Do you think that sounds okay? We'll wing it the way you direct it. Because otherwise it might take a long time, it might take like four hours instead of two or three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I think for that, that's the, the, the sacred destiny, because that can be done with one card. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, obviously, if you do get more for people, then that's okay too, obviously. That's all right. <clears throat> okay. Oh, let's get comfortable. Hi, Sky. Hello. <clears throat> okay. And I'm in I'm a just very uncomfortable stuff. position because if I use, have to use my mouse, I forgot to hook it up to load it. So now I have to cable on it, but that's short. So it's on the edge of the table. Oh, I see. Oh dear. Oh that's, dear. That's, that's why the light so, is on. So everyone, it is, that today's day is well, for us in England and in the Netherlands, the date today is the uh, January the 10th, 10th of January. 
um, but for most of you in America, it will be the 9th of January. Okay, so, so yeah, um, so we're going to do the astrology readings. <clears throat> and, um, oh, what are we going to start with, Vera? I have to resort them. Sign of you, Sky. We'll start with Libra. Yes. Don't you think it's funny? You say Hello, Sky, Julia. you say Sky, and Eric comes out. I know that's funny. <laughs> Good morning, Julia. Um, we're not doing those sort of readings, lovely. We're just doing astrology ones, so yeah, Taurus. Okay, so. So we're going to do air signs first of all, and then we'll do the earth signs for you. Okay, Sky? Oh, where's they gone? Oh, there. Okay, so I'm just going to rearrange my computer. So it has to be flat there like that. Oh, there. Okay. Right, where's my, my t oh, there it is. I've Yay. got my Jean-Paul Gaultier. <laughs> Look, to rest my um, my little Ruji me, what's it? So we're doing, Le oh, we're doing Aquarius. So we do Aquarius, then we'll do Gemini and then Libra then, yeah? Good I have num that I have numbered all of them and I know which one. Oh, I see. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. So Almost this... done. <coughs> That's really good. I see. Um, so um, I've got a bit of asthma today. I might have to take my pump. Um, we're going to do the 10th. So this is the 10th of January through to the 16th of January 2022. Okay. And there's my alarm saying, so get up. <laughs> it's all happening um okay let's put mine on silent okay you you really want to laugh ellie i just started to think okay oh well then it's not going to happen i'll wait a little while hey she's live click <laughs> Oh yeah, they want to work. <coughs> I don't get asthma, asthma very much, but it's weird. Ah, so Diane, you're Aquarius. Excellent. Paige. Hello, Paige. Hello, Shakti. That Shakti is my, it was my name. My magical name was called Shakti. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And Debbie. Hello, Debbie. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's my <clears throat> my asthma. Yeah, okay. but now it's coming free. Hello, Angela. And when, when we speak privately, I can tell you a little trick to let it the medication work even a thousand times better. Push down, you hold your breath in <clears throat> and push down. <clears throat> yeah, keep <clears throat> pumping. Pelvic floor. <clears throat> but it's all the fluid that goes up it's really yeah. weird can no. i before I, before we start can i please 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 ask for some healing for greg he's had high blood pressure for the last five days and he did go into um accident and emergency or i think you guys call it er he went in there a couple of days ago and they kind of sent him away saying you've got a um a consultant appointment <clears throat> but obviously it's really worrying obviously he's had a um, quadruple heart bypass and we don't know if this is normal or not is it normal to have raised blood pressure they kind of just leave him to it it's like he's got nobody to ask but um so anyway i just wanted to wanted to ask anybody who's seeing this could they please 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 send some healing out um for greg it would be really appreciated that would be amazing so thank you in advance 
Oh, Paige, yes, sending Healy for Greg. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Sky. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Okay. Right, so we're going to start now with Aquarius, okay? So Aquarius people. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Julia. Okay. Do you want to start, by the way? I do, I'm just assuming. Do you want to start? I could pull a star kick it off so you can get your mind a little bit more. <coughs> I know you, it's on the back of your mind always. <laughs> and then you can get that stuff out of your throat first. Or out your lungs. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. So for Aquarius coming week. Now we'll do a little bit of three from my oh, sacred destiny. So this is a little different. This is just about, well, where you're meant to go for Aquarius. And oh, I'm drawn to the bird right in the middle. The first card came out is the delight for the beginning of the week. And I see also those beautiful white birds in the sky. It feels very vibrant, very like a fresh beginning. Like a fresh beginning for the, for the beginning of the week. Towards the middle of the week. You might encounter some rough waters, rough wind. And all you need to do is, is re remind yourself that you have the courage to go just walk in the wind and let that wind blow around you because it can be very healing. Because towards the end of the week, there's something like miracles co uh, coming. And it could be says that you see some rainbows in the sky that could be messages from your loved ones. So take note of them. And the first thing that feels in your heart is the message where it, the way it's meant to be. So if you think when you see the rainbow, oh, this is this uh, so and so, that you th get that person in your thought. That's a message from your past loved one. Lovely. Thank you, Vera. That was perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Are those 3D? Yeah. Are those kind of like holographic, those cards? Yeah. If I they look, look at amazing. it. Amazing. It's, it's crazy because the minute I get it in front of the camera it looks like it's moving oh, it, it does. literally comes to it. life love, love, love it. okay Aquarius what am I going to see for you guys so this is for Aquarius it's for the 10th through to the 16th of January 2022 okay I'm going to tune in let's have a good one for Aquarius Okay. All right. Um, okay, so for um, I'm seeing some relationship issues. Okay, and a feeling of being pushed away, um, or rejected, or there needs to be a balance somehow set. It's like there needs to be some repairing. Um, that's how it starts with Aquarius. It could be that you need to find your voice. And you need to say, hey, you know, you're making me feel insecure or, you know, um, do you mind kind of communicating with me so that we can get past this awkward stage? So there's something going on, OK, regarding communication lines and to do with emotions. Now, for some of you, that might be love life. 
For others of you, it might be family or it might be friends, okay, it might be work colleagues, but it feels as if you're having to voice it and you're having to get it off your chest, okay? I need to tell you that you're making me feel um, this certain way, okay? So that's how it's gonna start off with. Let me just have a little look. Okay. Okay, so um, I feel that there is a lot of um, love energy, okay, around, okay? It doesn't feel as if this is something that is gonna be a permanent thing. It just needs to be sorted, that's all. Uh, it just needs, you just need to kind of find different ways to communicate. Sometimes it's about letting out that inner child, just what I mean, it may not even be about communication. We can communicate in lots of different ways. Put a song on that you both love and start dancing, you know, um, you know, laugh it off, okay? Do anything. Um, sometimes that let's talk business doesn't actually make it feel any better. Okay, so middle of the week, middle of the week, there's going to be some very big discussions about money, okay? And it's about what to do about money, okay? Um, it feels as if there is, it's like I've got to talk to you, I've got to say what I feel, okay? And it, it, it's about shall we, it's like some people are saying, shall we get a loan? Um, shall we do this? Um, you know, what should we do about this money? Okay, it's back and forward, back and forward about money. I'm seeing an application form around and I'm feeling as if I need to kind of um, speak out about it. So communication definitely around Aquarian um, people here. Okay. So um, I see at, towards the end of the week, the end of the week, there is um, a father figure, a fatherly character. Um, and I'm seeing there, um, there needs to be a little bit of balance with this fatherly character. Um, I don't know, it just, okay. Um, there could be, it could be a fatherly character, somebody who's being a little bit too dominant, but it could be a boss or it could be somebody in power somehow. And there's a need to kind of change that um, frequency, change that. So, you know, right the way through this week, it's all about communicating with everybody, getting your point across, making sure that everybody knows where you stand. Also finding out where you stand legally, officially, okay? Now, I know a lot of people are going through a lot with their jobs and having to make decisions about this, getting this in order to keep their jobs. Um, all I've got to say is look into it. Please don't make a decision. It's not the same as other, other ones of these. This is very, very, very different, okay? Um, there have been lots of um, effects that have gone on and worse, okay? So please look up um, the VIRS, okay, reports. Um, look up um, in the UK yellow card. Okay, just, um, yeah, sometimes it's it's not, it's, it's about more than just the job. Okay, so um, just looking at this, it may not be necessarily to everybody that that is affecting everybody. Communication lines are really very strong around Aquarius. Okay, so there we go. We're gonna do Gemini now, yeah? Okay. Thank you, Vera. You're on mute at the moment. <laughs> My Thank you for all the mute. likes and hearts. Thank you. What is a different way to describe sacred destiny? I think that's the perfect way to describe them. Yeah, it's just sacred destiny. A lot of people don't even know where they're going. <clears throat> and it's still destined to go. So, okay, that first one already won it out. For Gemini. Gemini, for the upcoming week. And I forgot the date it is. Gemini, Gemini upcoming week. That's gonna be. Okay. Oh, that one. Okay. 
sometimes just, just get stuck in my hands. Okay, for the beginning of the week, the sacred destiny. And I have to say, right away, it's something you're deep inside want to do, but think you cannot do it because of this and this, but there are ways around it. Because the first card that comes out for sacred destinies is adventure. And look at the beautiful colors and the, the waterfall. So you may want to create that under the shower, just in your imagination. So you can clear all the old and then keep the birds on your mind. Towards the middle of the week, because when you do that, you get into your deepest feelings, what really deep inside of your heart. It's going to work its way to freedom. And right away on my peripheral vision, I see that you just imagine you spread your wings, you're going to fly and just use the wind to go wherever you want to go. So freedom. So even though if, say, if you cannot leave the house, you can still leave the house, but just in your mind. And then towards the end of the week, when you've been doing everything, you need to free yourself of stagnant energy or whatever. It's time for action. And this can be for different for everyone. Maybe it's our plans that you have been waiting for for a long time or putting it off or just it, it's there and the clouds are like the clouds are just coming together give one big light show and the air clears but that's just an example it can be on any things clearing your house or whatever so that's what I feel for Gemini for the upcoming week. And that's literally everything from your heart. Yeah, you got to kick your mic. Um, oh, um, so Julia um, has said, so your 15 year old, um, that's your daughter's sign, is it? And we got Julie Brown, who else has joined us? Pascal. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, I've already picked the cards out for you, Gemini. So Gemini's is um, taking that kind of leap of faith I'm seeing this week. Um, you're just gonna say, sod it, I'm going for it. Um, I feel that there has been, everything's been on hold, everything's been upside down. And I feel that at this moment in time, you're just going, with your gut feeling, you're not backing down. Um, I'm seeing that you are going to be, um, I feel that there has been some money been saved up or you've earned extra money. There's been an extra income somehow. And with that extra money, I feel that you're going to be um, treating yourself. You're gonna be doing something um, with that money that's gonna really make you feel happy. Okay, it's kind of, kind of like um, either having a spend up or making yourself feel better, um, you know, by maybe getting extra extra um, food shop or buying yourself a new top or whatever. I just feel as if there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, extra spending than you would normally do. Okay, um, I'm seeing movement around you as well. So I'm not saying that every Gemini is going to be moving, but there's definitely going to be a lot of you who are thinking of moving. Um, if you aren't moving, then I would say that there is a lot of um, changes in the house that you're going to be doing some DIY and um, sorting out organization, that type of thing. OK, it's going to be a little bit chaotic in the house. It could be somebody moving in, moving out. Um, but it's um, it's all in the name of kind of planning ahead and um, forward thinking. 
Um, I'm seeing to do with love life and emotions. That there is a partnership that is really getting deeper. Um, it's it's it can be a friendship that's getting deeper, um, a friend, a family member that you don't usually talk to very often, but that person is now coming into your life a lot more. Um, it feels as if there's a lot of balance there, there, a nice feeling, okay, of togetherness. Um, I see that, that things are turning out better than you thought. There has been a lot of worry and a lot of anxiety over the last couple of weeks. And I feel this is to do with money. Um, it's to do with kind of family matters and money. But I will say that, you know, things are, have turned out better. Um, I'm seeing that sometimes we have to count our blessings and we have to concentrate on them more than we do what we don't. You know, it's like if we keep concentrating on what we don't have and what we don't want, um, the trouble is we're going to get more of that. So we have to kind of focus um, on the opposite. Focus on and be grateful for what you have and think about what you haven't got. But imagine that you have. Imagine that you have it. OK, that way um, the universe will bring that to you quicker. I know that sounds double Dutch, but it is law of attraction. And the end of... Um, end of this next week coming up to the 16th um, to do with wishes there are a lot of strong wishes that have gone out there um, look out for those manifestations look out for you and um, you know sometimes okay this is an experiment and I think you know Gemini's you can do it but everybody can do it I want you to think of something obscure think of something that is crazy okay think of I don't know um you're going to find on your travels you're going to find just one sock one sock next week in a bizarre spot out of the way perhaps on the pavement in front of you or something else and you're going to manifest this and when that happens to everybody that sometime you'll you'll find there'll be a bizarre moment with one sock okay you'll see that you are manifesting these things um you know think of something really crazy okay and then get get yourself to manifest it that will give you the confidence to start manifesting the bigger things okay so i know it sounds crazy but do it it's fun okay so that's what i see for the gemini's okay so we've got libra now this is um, this is my sign as well. Um, I've got Libra rising and this is Greg. He's a triple Libra. So, so if you want to find out what your sun, moon and rising is, is just go to a search engine and put in what is my sun, moon and rising and go to the charts and you can put in there your um, location, the approximate time of your birth. Um, and the day and it will give you your sun moon and rising okay you just need the three that's what you need find out what those are so, yes you, I, you can hear me right yeah okay and i got my mic on <laughs> yeah. okay this. Our page, thank you both so much. This is so spot on for Gemini, my dad. That's nice. This is Liz. Liz as well. Hi, Liz. Three flipped. Okay. That's probably for uh, Libra. They want that out. So I'm going to use them. So for the upcoming week for Libra, that's your sacred destiny, your deep wishes that are lodged inside your heart. And it's time that you start working towards it. So for the beginning of the week, again, the delight card with the bird and all the beautiful flowers, the grass, Everything is starting to, yeah, to, to, to flourish. The light, you feel, yeah, all the things you've been doing, you're grateful for it. And again, the white birds that are 
flying or birds and 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 maybe even some butterflies in there so that's gonna be okay like you feel very comfortable in the beginning of the week with everything you're doing inside your heart and towards the middle of the week i got a diligence card and i feel that towards the middle of the week, you're gonna take a look at all the things you've been doing, all the preparation, like you're flying in the sky and you look down through, through the clouds to all the things you have been doing, preparing. And yeah, just to have an overview of it so you can work towards it. And then towards the end of the week, you feel time to move going forward. You just take that step, walk through the fields of all the things you've been preparing for, look around and feel it. Walk in nature. That's what I feel for, is going to happen for Libra in the upcoming week. did tell Greg that he needs to get onto that beach. He needs to get some energy from the sea. And that usually is calming, isn't it, the sea? And he has got a real affinity to it. So that might lower his blood pressure, hopefully. Well, so. and if he's not able to go there, maybe a crazy idea that someone takes a little bucket, goes to the beach, scoops him up, Bring it so he can put it, pour it in a box, in a bucket, preferably a little bit with the, so, the, the, the sea water in it, and just fill it up with water, put his feet in, so he can cleanse himself. Blessing. Okay, so Libra. Okay. So, Philly, Phil, oh, can I just ask before? Um, to stop, because obviously we are terribly shadow banned, could everybody please like and share it, please, to your wall? That would be amazing um, if you could do that. Um, that would be great. Okay. All right. So what I'm seeing for you, the beginning of the week, Librans, is that um, you're, you're putting a brave face on. You're saying everything is fine. Everything is okay. I can see that there is some deep emotional issues that you're trying to um, to not um, deal with. OK, it's like I just want to ignore them. I just want to kind of, you know, keep going with my with my focus. And it's like thinking positively, thinking above whatever worries or, or situations are going on. It's like, no, I'm fine. Everything is good. I will say that there is going to be a celebration of achievement. There is going to be a feeling of that you're very pleased with yourself, that you're very pleased with what has happened or what is, go what is going on. It could be that you know that you've done really well. And because you know that, it's like that lovely kind of, from your spirit guides, your spirit guides are saying, well done, congratulations. You know, you've gone with your faith, you know, and we have noticed that you're doing well. Okay, I'm also seeing that you're going to be also taking the leap of faith now. There is always going to be one thing that keeps happening in all of the or most of the uh, earth signs, uh, not, sorry, not earth signs, on all of the 12 signs. Um, and and so it may well be because I've had this so far, the leap of faith, you know, we've had the, the full card. So we'll watch out for that and see if it keeps coming up because it's about taking that leap of faith, taking the plunge. OK, and doing it. Hi, Deb. Um, I'm seeing also about letting go from somebody who is being a bit bossy in your life. This person is trying to manipulate you. This person is trying to um, control. OK, you're not going to do well with controlled energy. Somebody who's trying to really it's like bully or, you know, for some people, it will be bullying for some people. For other people, it might just be a bit of annoyance. But um, I feel that you are going to 
kind of do something that you don't usually do and it's totally dismissed so it could be that you just get up and walk out um, of a situation it's like i don't want to do this anymore i don't want to be here okay and you just leave okay there seems to be um new money okay around as well i'm seeing a new way of earning money this could be a new job promotion extra responsibility to do with the job i am seeing that there are lots of wishes attached to this so this would be something that you've wanted to do you would wanted to achieve it somehow i'm also seeing around um some people a pregnancy announcement okay or a, or a baby okay coming in okay this per this can be um not necessarily your own but this can be around you um and i'm seeing a big kind of excitement growing in the spirit world like they was excited they knew it was coming okay this baby okay um also i feel that there is some travel plans coming up around the end of the week and i feel that you are going on a journey it doesn't look as if you're very impressed with this journey so i'm not seeing something like nice like a holiday it feels as if i'm not looking forward to the travel i'm not looking forward to that long distance okay that's a bit of a nightmare but apart from that um you know i feel as if you've got a good week coming up um librans okay so there we go so we promised sky um that we would do the earth signs now so we're going to start off with taurus <clears throat> right so greg's watching football kansas city chiefs he's watching <laughs> there's our deb hello trisha kelvin i think we've caught up there okay let us know what your birth signs are or your sun moon and rising let us know Okay, that went off flying. It did, didn't it? <laughs> it? Flew out. It flew out. It wanted out. So, the sacred destiny message for Taurus for the upcoming week. First one already jumped out. So let's see what it's going to bring. Yeah, fire, fire, and earth. Okay. Yeah, that's well. The first card and the first thing also that comes to mind that it is about the heart. So when you felt that you've been feeling trapped inside your heart, you have not been able to. You didn't maybe you didn't feel loved or whatever but towards the beginning of the, the beginning of the week that's it feels like that's going to be lifted that all of a sudden you think okay i'm just gonna spread the wings open up my heart and let those in that i know are honest to me that gives it back also the same way because your heart knows who to trust and who you have to be. Well, just get a little bit discerned from, just leave them. And towards the middle of the week, you can gonna feel it's gonna, that's been all the work you've been doing on your heart, nourishing your heart, it's going to be really successful, like you're a panther, just looking from the dark. Well, not in the not from the dark, but in the dark you can see everything. So even if you feel you're still a little bit on the low side, your eyes look through all that darkness and see all the bright, beautiful flowers, the sun rising, and then you can feel in your heart that you feel a lot more successful and towards the end of the week instead of feeling everything is so difficult 
towards the end of the week, you're going to feel like you're just a tiny feather slowly drifting. So that's going to be about simplicity. It's easy. Everything you think of, you want to do. Don't make it uh, uh, more difficult. Just look at it in its most simple way. Because when you think sim sim uh, simplicity, simplify the things, it doesn't drain you. It's easier. Because, yeah, we've been just all been conditioned to see the things the difficult way. But real life is about simplicity. Obstacles are no obstacles. Because when you feel like a feather in the, in the sky, you just can float past those obstacles. That's my message for Taurus for the upcoming week. It's like, it's like saying keep it light. Keep it light, yeah. Keep it light, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, so in the chat here, Sky said, I just told my friend that I'm a panther five minutes ago <laughs> and she's a Taurus. That's funny, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Spot on there, Vera, well done. Uh, okay. So, so Taurus, let's have a look and see what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm seeing a bit of a party energy um, at the beginning of the week. Um, I feel a lot of fun. I feel a lot of excitement. It feels as if, you know, um, it's like while we're waiting for, you know, destiny to happen, for our wishes to happen, why not have some fun along the way? Why not enjoy here and now and stop, keep trying to search and wait for our future? It's like, I'm gonna make the most of my time. So what is it that you wanna do? What is it that's gonna make you laugh? What's gonna make you your heart sing? Being around children, being around animals, having a walk in the woods, having a walk on the, on the beach. What is it that you, that you know makes you happy? And I feel that you're gonna be doing a lot more of that, Torians. okay. There seems to be a little bit of sarcasm going on to do with relationships. So you could be feeling, <laughs> it could be you feeling sarcastic or it could be somebody close to you um, who's telling you that they're being sarcastic. Um, but it's sort of like, you know, if someone says to you, oh, you're gonna be meeting your, your, um, your future husband or your future wife and you're going, yeah, right, of course. It's that sort of sarcasm, okay? So you can use sarcasm, but use it to your best, best abilities. Use it, you know, with law of attraction, you can say, my, um, my future husband's on his way, um, my future wife's on, on her way, you know, and you can laugh about it, but what that's doing to the, the universe doesn't have a sense of humor. It just gives you what you say. So this is why we have to be careful what we, what we talk about, okay? But it doesn't understand that sarcasm. So be as sarcastic as you like, okay? Um, and it all is well. When I had cancer here, I had um, thyroid cancer. I used to say to people who say, oh, are you okay? And I say, my health has never been so good. And I used to say it instinctively, I used to keep doing it. And I believe that that helps, and it helps them immensely. So, um, so what else am I seeing? I'm seeing something to do with legal or official documents, um, paperwork, okay? Having to fill in paperwork, having to do, you know, maybe official documents, um, putting something down on paper that is for um, getting justice, um, getting what it is that you deserve out of a situation, getting justice for someone else. So I feel that there is someone else around you, or maybe you have been feeling a little bit too vulnerable and instead of kind of, you know, accepting the fact that you feel vulnerable, you're going, no, I'm not going to be a victim. I'm going to be a survivor and I'm going to sort this out. So I really feel as if you're going head on into um, sorting out any issues or problems. Um, you're having a bit of a clear out by the end of the week. 
And I feel this clear out is getting rid of crap, getting rid of anything that you don't want anymore, getting rid of people sometimes in your life that are no good for you. Um, sometimes we think that we want these people in our lives because it's become habit, but it's like, were we really happy? Is this actually what we want? Okay. And um, sometimes when things go on, it's like um, a pause and, and the life pauses for you so that you can reevaluate. And I know Sky understands because I've kind of had this with, with Sky, but yeah, it just feels as if it's like, analyze it, decide what it is that you, that you actually do want and then go for it. Plant the seeds of the future. Um, and this is what is your future. That's what you're, that's what you're gonna be coming into. Um, if you manifest what it is that you really truly want rather than um, have something that is habit. So there you go. That's for Taurus. So you want, you want, you want a, a fun fact? Yeah. When, when I have said that I had the idea of bringing some sand from the beach to Greg, Sky replied, Sky replied I can do that. Now it oh. comes up in Taurus. It's gonna go to the beach. <laughs> oh yes, never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I think he's gonna go. I yeah. think he will. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay so there goes oh thank you sky that's lovely that is lovely i will let him know so for the upcoming week for virgo from sacred destiny oh the three want to stick together again for the upcoming week I love it when sometimes just some some of the same cards come out. So for the upcoming week for Virgo, it's going to be all about truth. And crazy when you look, somehow, I feel there's a heart in that tree. So... That tells me that for the Virgo, this is going to kick off, that week is going to get kicked off by being true to your own heart. And for example, when, pe when someone asks you, oh, are you willing to do that for me? And you say yes, but deep inside you say no. You feel, uh-oh, I, I shouldn't have said no. But when you ask yourself if i would uh, you uh, ask the same question am i honest when i say yes i will do it when the answer is no then just say no to that person because your heart is telling no i'm not ready for it i cannot do it right now just be true to your heart for yourself because saying no sometimes is even harder but you're saying yes to yourself and to your own heart. Towards the middle of the week, you feel you can move a little bit more forward. And for some, that will be little steps, maybe baby steps, just and sometimes even the length of your toe in front of the other. But you're moving forward. Because there is a really bright sun shining. When you step further on the field, you'll feel the sun on your skin, which will help you reload your batteries. 
And then again, to the end of the week, we have the diligence. You're going to look from above all the things. And when you've kicked off the week, to be honest to your heart, you're going to look to yourself. I've done a great job. This looks good. The fields are bright. Everything is growing the way it wants to be. That's what I got for Virgo. I've noticed uh, when I mute, your mic kicks in. Oh. I don't know. Um, I'll be getting a new microphone um, this week. Well, it said, to, uh, was it Monday? Yeah, it said Monday. So fingers crossed, I won't, I won't have any problems. But my microphone just decided, even less than a year, um, it decided not to work anymore. I don't know why. Um, crazy thing. Okay, so let's have a look at um, Virgos. So Virgos, I'm seeing that your hands are a little bit tied over a certain matter. And it feels like it's, it's like you want to move forward, but at the moment you've got to do baby steps, which is what, was, what you said, Vera. Vera said baby steps, taking small steps. So it could be that you have to take smaller steps rather than bigger steps even though you feel and, and that might make you feel as if you're not going forward but you are okay so um these cards are saying the same thing so sometimes we're walking carefully okay um and we are tippy towing around i feel some rules and regulations i feel these rules and regulations are by people around us who aren't nice um or easy people to get on with and i feel that this could be um you know there is a divide going on at the moment um there was a and, and that is all manufactured by um the media we know this um and uh, unfortunately that is going to be quite a, a tricky situation it's like you've got your opinion um and they've got their opinion and both people think that they're right okay and in which case it's all going um around and around in circles okay so in the um, middle of the week, uh, the middle of the week, we've got, um, this is about kind of, okay, so for some of you, they give me two, two, of, um, two of these um, readings here, and they're all talking to me at once, so I'm sorry about this, I'm getting them to slow down a bit. Okay, so we've got wishes, dreams, uh, we've got, um, some of you will be linked with a car, and it will be linked with some changes to do with your car, um, sorting out things and issues with car, finding that you need a new car, um, having to hire a car, having to do something regarding that. Um, and for others of you, I'm seeing travel plans um, and having to find a another way other than um, traveling by car to get somewhere. So it feels as if it's like, right, we're gonna have to do this or this. Um, and it feels as if there is some, somebody in authority that is kind of um, putting pressure on as well and making us feel um, it's like um, under pressure, okay? That's how it's making, making you feel, okay? So that's Virgos. Um, the, end of, the end of the week for Virgos, there's gonna be two very important messages uh, coming through. One message is gonna be to do with money Okay, it's going to be to do with money. That could be work. It could be a financial thing. It could be um, that you're going to be getting some messages to do with um, the fact that you've earned extra money or that you're doing well, okay, regarding a financial um, situation. Maybe you've, you've sold some bits and pieces that you wanted to sell, okay? Um, and the other one is going to be some really good ideas coming from somebody who wants to tell you what they've done well i've done this wonder if you could do the same okay so there's going to be lots of conversations i feel very positive conversations um to do with going forward and planning ahead okay and i know that virgos they do like to plan ahead um that is kind of part of their uh, personality it's like organization and planning ahead okay so there you go that's what i see for for virgos
So what's next? Capricorns, isn't it? Yep. It was um, Capricorn. My, my dad was a Capricorn and it was his um, birthday. It would have been his birthday. Um, bless him. Well, happy, and, uh, hell, ha sorry. happy, heavenly birthday to your dad. Yeah. Yeah. Bless him. I don't miss him, you see, because he's with me all the time. He's just, my spirit guide. So, I, when I just said that, happy he heavenly birthday, get on cracking. I heard that. I heard something say like that sounded like that. Crack on. Just crack on. I just said crack on, crack on then. That yeah, uh, yeah that's. I didn't relay, but something that was what I heard. <laughs> he would say, yeah. They're feisty. Then. They're, they're feisty again, Ellie. <sighs> okay, calm down. That's better. Okay. Sacred destiny for the upcoming week for Capricorn. <laughs> can I just can I just read this out because it's relating to Virgos? Look what pages just put. Um, this is just hilarious. This week, I'm traveling to exchange my car lease, and I've been asking the universe to help me with doing something new I want uh, with my work. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's funny. Thank you for that, Paige. Okay. So, for Ferga, for Cap the little Capricorn for the upcoming week. Oh, and I love that energy that's coming from that card for the deep. And I feel that the, a lot of guys are going to feel that deep in the heart. Because the upcoming week, the card came out. Happiness. Joyful. Play. Uh, have fun. Enjoy the sun. Be like those dolphins. They sing, they play, they have fun. And could be all just with energy. Even because I, I was already a little bit, because I'm on a trampoline sitting at the moment, because I have a low desk, so that works. And I'm sometimes I'm just going to, well, that type of energy you're going to feel at the beginning of the week. Towards the middle of the week, and I hear the words, you're going to get tested on how patient you are. And I think it's called the, uh, I don't know the, the name of the bird, but that's when they lift up, they need to have patience to fly to this place where they can find a mate or whatever for, for life. And maybe even, yeah, this, it could be about partner they, or that you're thinking about a, a partner or a friendship that's connecting uh, uh, better with you. But I see something about love coming towards the middle of the week a, i think that's a stork or a heron that you've got there or a crane uh, even deb said a crane yeah i think a crane i didn't know how to pre because it was like flapping around and i didn't know where, where the word was but that will lead oh and that that line fits so good because towards the end of the week it's gonna feel like there's gonna be new beginnings this could be about new beginning that you see all of a sudden a job that you're going after that might be the best thing you can do new ideas new plans or whatever but it feels like there are things just gonna, yeah, start over, start new, or 
maybe even the job you have, all of a sudden you walk in and you think, I feel totally different at my work. I've been dreading to go to work and all of a sudden I'm all on fire because I feel uh, and it's merit. So it's like, uh, because this feels like there's going to be new fire in your life. That's what I see for Capricorn the upcoming week. I'll mute. Then you like. So um, there is somebody new coming into your life. Okay, this person is um, somebody who it can be a friend. It can be somebody who's more romantic. Okay, I'm a romantic person. Um, can you please um, share? Can you please um, carry on sharing the page? That's really good. It's making a difference. Um, so I appreciate every one of you from sh for sharing this. Okay, so um, so what I'm seeing is um, standing. It's like um, there is somebody coming in, and you're standing your ground. So it could be that someone's coming in a little bit too, maybe heavy, or it could be that they are um, maybe that you are not interested in anything else other than just friendship. But there is definitely something that you're going to be saying, well, this is where I stand. These are my, um, this is, this is how, um, how do I explain it? These are my boundaries. These are my boundaries. And I'm hoping that you abide by these boundaries. Okay. Um, now I tried boundaries right in the beginning um, of my relationship. And um, if it's the real thing, um, all those boundaries just dissolve a bit like a chocolate teapot. Um, it's just gone. Okay, so, um, you know, but sometimes we can keep it at arm's length and sometimes we, we need to, sometimes to heal. Um, maybe you're not quite ready to, to delve in. Okay, maybe there's other complications going on. Okay, I can see again travel. So a lot of people are going to be traveling. Okay, so maybe travel restrictions are um, getting lessened. Maybe there's some good stuff going on to do with travel. Okay, I'm seeing the road is clear for you ahead um, and you're seeing the new direction. Okay, you're seeing where you need to go. Um, we've got the world card. You've got the world and the sun. You have, um, you guys, um, Capricorns. So um, things are very good, okay, in, in your life, Capricorns. It, it looks as if, you know, you've been waiting for some good news. You've been waiting for things um, to emerge that you've been um, hoping for, okay? And I'm seeing a lot of that here. Now, it does look, look like you're gonna be celebrating this week. There's gonna be a lot of achievement, a lot of feelings of, of happiness, of joy, okay? There's a lot also about your spiritual pathway. Your spiritual pathway is really starting to blossom. You're not gonna be putting up with anybody who is, um, how can I put it? who is keeps letting people down, promising things, then saying, you know, I'm, I'm letting you down. It's like, it's on and off and on and off. So I feel that this will actually make you feel as if I'm going to back away from this person. You know, this person obviously cannot, um, for, some, for whatever reason that is, they cannot um, fulfill people's wishes or dreams. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's going. Um, and so you're going to see straight through um, that that type of behavior, that type of person. But, you know, you've got the world card with it, which means that it's not going to be a problem. You're not going to be disappointed. You're going to accept the way it is. OK, I feel that you're going to be putting a smile on your face no matter what. Everything is good. Everything is brilliant. OK. So. Um, so, yeah, I feel a lot of celebration, a lot of achievement. You're feeling very strong, Capricorn. So really, the world is up to you. Whatever you want in the world, wherever you're going to go, whatever your abilities are, you're going to shine. And those abilities are going to be paying off for you because we do have the sun card and we have the world card. Um, so very good week for you guys, Capricorns. Okay, here you go. So we've just done, um, so far, the air signs. 
Aquarius, yes. Gemini, and yes. Libra. Yep. Now we're going to be doing we've just done Taurus, Virgo, and uh, Capricorn. Um, so should we do water signs next? Yeah, sure. Okay. Tracy, so water signs. Yeah, Tracy uh, wrote she, uh, about a message and asked, well, well yeah, Gemini I'm, was already done in the beginning. Well, I'm going and, over what we've done. Yeah, and Sagittarius uh, is uh, coming, coming up in the last group. Scorpio. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Yes. So. These are the messages, sacred destiny for upcoming week for Scorpio. So let's see what they're just too joyful today, uh, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> they're very excited to be out and about. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. I felt like she wasn't allowed to shuffle or push them in. So, so you know, you can um, organize a reading with Vera. Okay, Vera does readings. She's also an animal communicator. So if anybody's got any issues regarding their animals, um, she can actually tune in and find out what, it, what your animal is trying to say to you, what is going on with it. So you can contact her. She's going to put her details, hopefully, in the, in the chat. Um, I can, and, I can, um, yeah, that's. I can jump to it. You just have to click. If you'd like a reading with myself, you can go to psychicalley.net. Okay, and have a reading with me. Oh, I got a jump um, over there. So you can actually join Patreon if you wanted to. That's on patreon.com forward slash psychic alley. It's like a membership that you can, you can go to. Um, there's lots of di there's four different tiers, and uh, you get something with each tier. Okay, so all right. So Scorpio, Scorpio is um, my Rhiannon, um, my daughter. Oh. She's had a baby nine months ago. Yep. And um, I put both the details I in, Ellie. You Okay, I started with, okay, for Scorpio, the upcoming week, and they stuck together, so they were four, but two are at the end of the week, I'm told. So the beginning for, for Scorpio, at the beginning of the week, the happiness card came out again. Joyful, happy. And that's coming from your heart. Instead of feeling it, it's heavy, it started to lift. You start to see a little bit more about the joys of life. More singing, dancing, just or just bouncing around while you're walking around in nature or doing some groceries. All of a sudden, you find yourself just singing along getting your stuff that you need to go, need to have for yourself. And we're doing that. You're working also towards the inner peace of yourself. These beautiful koi fish, they love to be together. The flowers, just everything, it feels so peaceful. All the static noise you've been hearing, fall away and you're just in a very happy place with yourself towards the end of the week and they were wanted to get be connected to uh, each other it feels like purification everything is feeling pure new as if completely fresh start and you feel a lot of enlightenment, like a lot of 
heaven is, is lifted. Your, your light is starting to sh shine. Just like, oh, other side, <laughs> the flame on the card. It's going to shoot up like there's a flow of wind coming from the bottom. And it pushes it up and you just feel you're going to light up the room. That's what I got for Scorpio. Okay, starts out um, Scorpio's week. Um, I can see that you're going to need a lot of strength. You're going to need a lot of courage, okay, to get through. OK, and it feels as if that is really going to be it's like when you are kind of cornered, when you need to step up, you really can, um, Scorpios, you really can. Um, and I'm seeing there's going to be um, some issues regarding money that is owed to you. OK, this money that is owed to you is going to be you're going to be voicing it. You're going to be telling them how you feel it is. OK, this is this is what I deserve or this is what we deserve. This is. This, and, and these are what has this is what's been happening to us so it's like you're really stating your claim you're really communicating very well okay there does seem to be a need to get the balance back regarding an emotional matter an emotional situation now this can be a friend a family member somebody that um, seems to be treating you a little bit differently to what they would normally treat you and uh, you're not amused by this you feel that you need um, respect and love um, and appreciation and I feel that that is going to be something that is going to be addressed I feel um, the beginning of next week so we're doing the 10th through to the 16th of January just so you guys know okay so this is now plans I'm seeing some paperwork um, I'm seeing organization I'm seeing um, filing trying to get paperwork into a filing system wanting to make sure that everything is organized okay to do with money to do with finances i'm seeing self-employment and i'm seeing accounts and i'm seeing that there is it's like leaving it to the last minute and having to rearrange and do everything and get everything organized um this is going to be hard but it will be well worth it um so you know if it isn't to do with accounts it is to do with kind of money and organization um in some way um as one door opens, another one closes. So remember that, um, that sometimes there are big changes happening. Sometimes we feel sad because one door has finished and gone. Um, but with this new openings, there's, that's going to be um, so perfect for you. OK, it's like the universe knew exactly what you needed to let go of um, because they knew exactly what was coming. OK, and sometimes we we um we cross about something it's like the universe has taken this away from me and i really needed it and i really wanted it and if only they just looked around the corner they would see that something better shinier um much more in a line with their wishes is just about ready okay so once again you guys have got the sun and the world okay it's two different decks but you do have the sun and the world um, and so there's a boost of confidence coming up for you the end of the week. Um, there's a strong feeling of achievement. I've done it. This is amazing. There's also a strong feeling of having to be your own boss, having to stand up for yourself, not back down. OK, um, the balance is going to be coming at the end of the week. Um, you've got perfection energy around you. And it's like everything is so organized and so sorted out. You, you finish the end of the week thinking, yeah, I can see why I needed the strength card to get through that week. But the organization skills that I've got are amazing and I've done really well. So you're going to be very pleased with yourselves. OK, so there you go, Scorpios. Hi, hello Laura Winton. Hello Sharon Kemba Brazier. Um, hello Vera. <laughs> hello Sunny. <laughs> oh, Sunny's a Scorpio. <laughs> hello Tracy Brickwell. Hello. Um, hello Deb. 
as our Deb and Paige. So I think we've caught up with everybody. Um, unfortunately, Scorpio has been, I'm sorry. We just literally did it, but you can rewatch it. Yeah, you can watch it a bit later. What is your sun, moon and rising? Maybe we haven't done some of those yet. Well, we are past half, half of them, just five to go. So we're going to see what the cards from my deck, Sacred Destiny, has in store for Pisces for the upcoming week. Those about the Sacred Destiny, the dreams from the heart, what you really meant to do. Uh, Laura asks, what do you mean? Um, in astrology, you've got three, you should be looking at three of your signs, sun, moon and rising. So if you go to a search engine and you put in what is my sun, moon and rising, and one of those um, options will be a calculator, birth, um, birth sign calculator. And it will ask you for your birthday, it will ask you for your, the time of your birth, the day and the area. Okay, so, you know, whereabouts you were born. And if you only know approximately, it doesn't matter, um, that can help as well. So yeah, just pop that in and it will give you your sun, moon and rising. So you can then look at three of your signs because um, we're a mixture of those three, really. Um, see, I'm Pisces, um, my birth sign, but I've also got Sagittarius and I've got Libra. Okay, so what are you, Vera? You're Pisces. <laughs> She's looking up. <laughs> I always um, forget it. <laughs> um, Deb, I think, said, Deb, I think, said, was, I know she was too, she was an earth sign, two fire signs. That's all I remember. Yeah. So, yeah, you can look up, look up that. I got to look at the other one. <laughs> That's a nasty thing if you have two phones. One is at stored and one is not. Close it. Start. Why do you look up that? Yeah, sure. Pisces, the beginning of Pisces. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm picking out a major arcana card to start with. Okay, so I'm seeing the um, legalities, okay, official paperwork, um, having to do things in an official way, getting justice, getting what you deserve, or pushing for someone else to get what they deserve okay um let's have a look and see what else we have the pisces that's really bizarre because i do have a court case this week coming up i'm dreading it but yeah that's what i got um okay so there's self-employment energy around or you know wanting to kind of earn money for yourself, make, not going through a middleman, okay? There's gonna be a lot of conversations about that or a lot of thought planning, okay? I can see that you are looking ahead. You're looking at what you can do. It's like you're organizing the stepping stones ready for, it's like, this is my main goal and I'm gonna be doing this and then that and then this. And if that all seems like it's too much for you, then do smaller stepping stones. You know, it's like just baby steps forward. Um, and each day, you know, you're going to be looking at that you have achieved more. Okay. You're going to be very pleased with yourself. All right. Oh, hello. My sign just fell off. <laughs> oh, really? Did that start? Did I'm not that fly? It's standing on my phone, which is really slippery. So, yeah. Okay. So, the middle of the week um, for Pisces is strength. Okay, so needing the strength to get through, needing to find out, you know, what your inner strengths are, what your capabilities are, you know, how you can get through everything and still remain sane. Okay, a lot of us are being pushed um, to these limits here. You also have the star and the hanged man. Okay, star has to do with your wishes. Hanged man means everything's upside down and waiting. 
and you're having to be patient. So I feel to do with your wishes, there seems to be a delay of some sort. It's like, you know, it's not happening yet, but you might feel it's just around the corner. Now you also have this lovely card in the Lightseer's deck, um, the Ace of Swords. You can see it's like delving down into the middle of that brain of yours um, to find out what really going on. Okay, sometimes we are manifesting the wrong things because we're thinking about um, things that we haven't got too much. You know, we're doing that kind of victim energy and we're all capable of it. Um, this is saying, try not to, try thinking about all the things you have. Be sarcastic and say, um, you know, my new car is, is just, I'm just about to pick up my new car. And it's like, you might not be actually picking up your new car. You might not have anything to do with a new car yet. But what you're doing is you're saying to the universe that you have got it and the universe will then provide it. OK, so um, it will provide it quicker than if you just wished for it because you're visualizing having it. OK, so it's, we get what we deserve. We get what we believe we deserve. OK, um, so you then finish off the week with my spirit guides card. OK, knowing that you have the tools to do anything you want, you are capable of anything. This to me says that you've done a lot of planting already. You've done a lot of hard work and this is to do with skills of the past. You know, things that you have achieved in the past. Well, it's all there. OK, it's all in the background. This is saying that you can now reap the re results of that. Um, so money, opportunities, everything is coming your way. OK, you're going to be very, very happy uh, with how things turn out. Um, the temperance is all about the balance. So sometimes we have to give in to the universe and say, do you know what? I know that you've got my back. I know that everything's going to work out OK. I just have to kind of be patient and um, let everything let everything go and just be grateful for what I have right now. There you go. OK, mine. Aries, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus, and Capricorn. Oh, okay. You only need three, because um, because it does show another one, but you only need your sun, moon, and rising. Otherwise, it can get very complex. Uh, well, I am complex. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Sure, just a little joke. Okay. <laughs> I laugh when you said I have a court case coming up because of the end of the week card. So the beginning of the week for Pisces, the enlightenment card, that's about the fire, getting yourself well, shine your light as bright as you can, because it's there. You can do that. And it will help you shine to the world. And everyone will think, oh, my God. There's a sunshine come walking in towards the middle of the week. And that can be in preparation for anything you need to do that it's hard or even easy. Has to do with relaxation. Take the time for yourself. Nourish yourself. Rest a little bit more. Because that's how you can either figure out what you need to do for the next step or whatever. But then when you need to do it, you're at full strength <clears throat> and towards the end of the week this is also very important trust that the universe has your back and as i can see this it feels like uh, i think this is a boat just floating. Yeah, there could be anything. But it feels like just let yourself float on the water. Let the stream go. 
take you wherever you need to go. And the universe will let you know how it's going. He will help you, support you. Lovely. That's okay. what I got for Pisces. So, Laura, you might have clicked on something to do with them sending you um, information about a paid reading, astrology reading. So I don't think you've done the right one. Um, yeah, you just look up your, um, yeah, it's on there. It says a calculator. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know. I haven't got time to find you the link, I'm afraid. Otherwise, I would. <laughs> do you want to go next? Do you want to do the, the Cancerians? And then we'll be in that order again. Yes. So uh, let me just switch the cards because I was running behind Ellie. <laughs> I was mixing up the mm -hmm. cards. I'm getting tired of myself, Ellie. <laughs> That's really tired. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pump but, yourself up. When you when you that energy is in my body at the moment. It's not <laughs> showing, but I could. No, we're going to shuffle <laughs> normally this time. So for the upcoming week for cancer, about the sacred, your sacred destiny, the wishes deep inside. So we'll see what upcoming week might hold for you. Oh. That card wanted out also for Cancer Ellie. Again. And these two. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Again for the beginning of the week. Also for the Cancerian. It's going to be about enlightenment. And while I hold it up, it feels like you're going to rise above all the things that felt heavy. Your light is going to shine way more bright, more colors. And it feels like you, you yeah, you get, feel a lot more, even a lot more lighter. No longer the heavy energy because your light is pushing out anything that's heavy towards the middle of the week this is going to be about yeah and deep in your heart you're telling yourself i gotta embrace everything i've got just go through it look at it because sometimes you just forget what you have and you forget to value all the things you have you take them for granted sometimes so em embracing the things even embracing the past because there can there have been valuable lessons in it which you can filter out and take them towards your future and then towards the end of the end of the week the purity beautiful white fox with a beautiful light eyes one green one blue and you're just gonna look at everything you've done above the trees looking all the beautiful beautiful yeah like like white snow everything is just looking clean healthy So that's what I feel coming up for Cancerians. I'll mute so your mic kicks in. Thank you. So I forgot to say that my mum is a Pisces as well. So am I. Um, and my eldest daughter is Cancerian. So yeah, we're all emotional. <laughs> so let's have a look and see what's going on for Cancerians. Okay, 
So we're starting off feeling very sunny, very bright, um, really good week. OK, starting off. Um, I feel that there's going to be some kind gestures for some of you. They may be romantic gestures. Um, it could be, some, you know, somebody giving you that compliment that makes you feel really happy inside. I feel that there's going to be a lot of kind of solidarity, um, people getting together, coming together um, for being, um, how can I put it? You know, when you feel thankful and you feel um, at ease and at bliss, okay, there's this lovely kind of energy um, that, that um, just makes you feel ready for, you know, life to get easier for, it's like, being in the now enjoying every little bit of your life it's the gratitude it's those little things it's like waking up in the morning and you know the sun shining even though it might be a cold day the sun's still shining or you know you wake up and you've got your your pet and your pet is looking at you with love you know there's so many things in life sometimes to be thankful for those little things and i feel that's what's going to be stirring up your heart energy Okay, and also that those it's like that energy goes out there and what comes back to you is that lovely feeling of, um, you know, that someone else is giving you those compliments and it's staying in that vibrational energy. Whereas if you wake up and you stub your toe and, you know, and you end up, you could end up in a bad mood all day. Okay, and what comes from that is more of the same, you know, clumsiness, it can be you know, bad feeling between you and another person. Okay, so yeah, I feel that you've got this lovely energy there. I feel that there has been a lot of planning um, to do with work, and I feel that you're on the ladder. Does that make sense? Climbing up the ladder of achievement, or you've, you've started um, a project, or you've started doing something, and you're really getting very good at what it is that you're doing, um, to the point where you may be able to earn a bit of money out of whatever you're doing, okay? This feels as if it's something good, it's something exciting, okay? The middle of the week, middle of the week, you're gonna be taking a gamble and I'm seeing that you're gonna be concentrating your energy onto one thing, okay, onto one project. Now, that project is something that you want to really um, build upon. So it could be that you've got fingers in lots of pies but you've decided that this, for this next week or for this next few weeks, um, it's a good idea to make one thing happen and make it flourish, okay, rather than the lots of things, okay? And I feel that that is gonna pay off for you. I'm seeing lots of um, jobs being done in the house, um, having to get organized with the house. It could be that, that you know, you've got a list going about all the things that you want to want to have sorted out. Um, and finally, they are okay, which is going to um, make you very happy. I am seeing um, a little bit of secrecy around. Now, I don't know if you're feeling secret. You know, you want to keep secrets. You're trying not to tell other people too much about what you're going through, or you know, maybe someone else is trying to do the same. Um, but it doesn't have to be bad secrets. Sometimes they're secrets that are protective, protecting yourself, or you're protecting others. <clears throat> okay, so I'm seeing that there is going to be um, an opportunity um, to travel, or an opportunity to, to go somewhere, because I'm seeing the movement card. Also, I see that there is um, a strong feeling of new beginnings to do with work or money, a real good opportunity, okay? And I also see that sometimes it's a little bit daunting to take this opportunity, because it may feel a little bit kind of, wow, you know, am I ready for this? Is this, is this the right thing to do? Especially if you feel as if there may be promotion or, you know, um, you know, being given more responsibility that you feel might be overwhelming. Well, I'm seeing that you sometimes have to break down that feeling of um, worried about people judging you. <clears throat> worried about people who are going to be kind of um, looking at you with with that judgmental attitude and sometimes you have to say do you know what I can rise above it I don't care I don't care what people think I'm going to put my hard shell around myself being a cancerian being a crab 
you can put your hard out outer shell on and say sod it to everybody else and live your life to the best you think you can possibly do it <clears throat> there you go okay i'll put a link in ellie oh thanks for putting that link in there vera for for laura I, that's lovely i um, tested it first if it was a clear one yeah because a lot of them are trying to make money which is you know it's the way they do it but <clears throat> Okay. Fire signs. I'm Quaker. <laughs> oh. Okay. So Leo now. <laughs> oh, they're flying again for Leo. Right then. Yep. Gonna flip them. Ooh. So for the upcoming week for Leo, from my sacred destiny. So the things that comes from uh, the out of your heart. Okay. Beginning of the week, I feel for a lot of you, it's all going to be about transformation. You've been inside, some of you have been inside a cocoon for a very, very long time. And you're finally, it feels like you're finally breaking out of that cocoon, spreading your wings, letting them dry so you can just show the beautiful being you are, your true self. Towards the end of the middle of the week, you can feel that the new you is thriving. Just look at those beautiful sun rays above the tree, splashing all your that that's your light that's gonna everyone's gonna see it and i think some even will have to use sunglasses so they can don't get blinded by your light and towards the way uh, end of the week because if you have been in that cocoon and all of a sudden you're spreading your wings you feel you're thriving there's also being a moment of to go within because it can be very, very overwhelming. And then you, towards the end of the week, you're going to take a little bit of time for yourself in solitude. Just looking at, I think it's about the sun going under, just to watch the watch it, feel the energy, everything, because when the sun slowly goes down, everything on earth is quieting down. All the sounds, it's going to feel extremely peaceful. That's what I feel for Leo for the upcoming week. And I'll mute again, otherwise your mic won't kick in. Okay, so um, so we've got Leo now, Leo energy. And funny enough, we're starting off the week with the lion. Okay, so that's quite apt, isn't it, for Leo? Okay, so we've got that lion energy. And for women, that lioness energy. So that can mean being very protective of your loved ones, protective of your family, protective of your, um, of your children, you know, making sure that everybody is as safe as they can possibly be. Okay, with that kind of nurturing energy. I am seeing that there is some something linking around your home that is causing a little bit of chaos. Okay, that chaotic energy um, is needing to be cleared out and getting rid of anything that is no longer needed. And I feel it's like um, it's like somebody who, who has 
um, had your gratitude and been very kind to you, um, they're suddenly, you know, you're looking at them thinking, I don't respect you anymore. Um, I don't care about you anymore because you have been very, very bad to, to me. So I really feel as if there's kind of a real disappointment coming up. Um, okay, something to do with um, a person that maybe you work with, um, maybe they're kind of a, a, an estranged family member, um, but for the time being, that's how you're feeling. It doesn't have to last, okay, this, this feeling of disappointment with a person. And it could be that later on you start to relax and, and understand what they were going through and why they made the decisions that they did. But initially, you're not going to feel like that. So um, I'm seeing somebody new around you, okay? This new person, this new energy. Um, I feel that you're going to be um, having a very strong opinion, okay, about, you know, what it is that you're seeing um, to be right or what that you're seeing to be wrong. Um, I can also see that there are um, strong energies around a fatherly character or a person in authority, okay? So like I said, some of you, it will be um, a father energy and some of um, and some some of you, it will be a boss. OK, or it could be a government thing. OK, there. And I feel that there is going to be some it's like really having to stand up for yourself. And I'm again, I'm seeing this lioness energy again. I'm seeing this kind of like a dominant feeling of, you know, protection and um, and getting everything um, back into alignment, okay? Because it felt as if it was out a little bit. Okay, um, I feel that there is, you know, we've got the, the, the two of cups here, which means this new person coming along, I feel it is there to help you, is there to give you some reassurance and to give you um, some information that you've, you, you didn't know about, um, but then you will find out about. Okay, um, by the end of the week, we have the world card, which means that everything has turned out really, really well. Okay, things are, are, going, um, are going in your best interests. Okay, um, the wheel indicates that you have had to do a lot of shifting and changing um, and that everything is moving forward um, in the right direction now. Okay, and um, sometimes we have to plan ahead. Uh, we have to make some um, I'm seeing dates in diaries for kind of like months ahead. Does that make sense? I'm writing these dates down. Um, and this is for um, reorganizing things and coming to the right outcomes. Okay, organization. I can see for some of you, there is a court case. Um, there is something to do with a court case I'm seeing around. Uh, for others of you, this could just be um, an intolerance, okay? Um, you know, an annoyance that needs to be kind of put to rest, okay? Um, there's gonna be rerouting signs, like I said, going, um, moving from one area to another or feeling as if I've got to change my job or I've got to change my circumstances about kind of feeling uprooted, feeling as if I'm not um, feeling as safe as I usually would be. But we've got the world card, which does indicate that the, the world has got another plan for you they know what you need to be doing and where you need to be, okay? So even if there is <clears throat> a shake-up in your life, this shake-up is because you're supposed to have this outcome and not another one. So there you go. There's um, quite a lot of drama going on, I'm afraid, with you guys, Leos. So there you go. So it's Sagittarius, isn't it? Now. Yay! <coughs> I already put it up. I know you did. This is one of mine, um, Sagittarian. Laura, I, ha I had to run to the little no. room. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, some messages from the sacred destiny for Sagittarius for the upcoming week. Let's see what they want you to unlock inside your heart. Oh, I'm not allowed to put that back. 
Hmm. One card keeps on popping up in air almost every sign. <laughs> so for the upcoming week for Sagittarius. Okay, there's one. Oh. They've been out before, Ellie, but not together. So, for set... For the 10th through to the 16th. Yep. So, for the upcoming week, for Sagittarius... My mouth is starting to slip, but that's okay. Again, for Sagittarius, they're going to kick off the week with enlightenment, feeling more, well, you've been nurturing your light, and some may have been owning the light, but, or holding the light, their light first, and then they slowly started to own their light. And then when you, it's, it's like, like you have been doing, uh, using the old fashioned way to prepare for a fire with all kinds of cotton balls and a little bit of wood. And then you're trying to heat it up until slowly that smoke comes, it gets hotter. And then all of a sudden there's a flame. And I feel for some of you that that is going to happen towards the end of the week. Those that have been like, I don't know where to go. I feel so small. And all of a sudden you start to open up because all of a sudden that flame is there. You're on fire. And that's going to lead you for some. And for it can fit with the enlightenment with when that, uh, th that fire starts to maybe even to rekindle the fire, that it's still really there, it's warm. You put some more fuel, no, fuel on it and it's going to open up because towards the end of the middle of the week, uh, it's going to feel to you about that there are uh, new things are going to happen, new ideas. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm going to do this. This is what feels. I need to do because that's what my heart, that's what my heart de is desiring, is passion that feels right to do this. And towards the end of the week, you're going to take action. And that can be on any level. It can be maybe you're going to uh, go get some studying done, following classes to develop your sp spirituality is what i'm hearing so and for others maybe a new job or just a new idea i'm going to get into that direction i'm going to aim it this is what i want and i don't care what anyone tells me oh you should not do it no nope. you're gonna just put it aside and say i'm going for it i love it it feels right to me and you're going to do it. That's what I feel for Sagittarius for the upcoming week. And I'll mute again, Annie. So your mic goes in. Okay, so um, the beginning of the week for Sagittarius, we're starting off with two major arcana cards um, at the beginning of the week. I've got from different decks we've got the fool card sorry the hanged man which is life is upside down kind of in kind of like this um like waiting for things to change or things to happen um we've also got the magician which means that that spirit are deliberately holding back um giving you what it is that you want okay so you may be cross with them you may not know why they're doing it um but at the end of the day there is this strong energy of you know that there is somebody around you who is not the right character okay to be going into your future with 
this particular character, um, they are either stealing energy or stealing kind of um, emotions. They're, they're not, it's not like a balanced energy, okay, that's going back and forth and back and forth uh, with you and this person. So it could be that you're putting more energy into a relationship than they are. This could be a friend, family member. It could be a partner. Um, but something is happening. Um, and so you're having to rethink things. You're having to, you know, and, and that's what the universe does. It says, are you sure you want to take this on to a, the next level? Um, are you sure? Is there something that you that is missing? You know, we need to give you some time so that you can think things through, you know, um, be careful, okay, is what is um, being said here, okay. Um, yeah, now, it could be that you're giving this message to someone else, that this may not have anything to do with you particularly. It could be that there's somebody around you, I remember, loved one, who is saying, I'm really cross because I was expecting this to happen, and there's been another delay. And that delay is, is really annoying me. It's really making me cross. And inside you might be thinking or remembering what I'm saying, which is, are, are, is the universe giving them time to figure out that the person around them is not the right person to go into the future with? Okay, so there's big question marks over this person. Um, by the middle of the week, by the middle of the week, I do feel that if they still haven't learned who that person is and this, this person is going to be showing their true colors um, and so this may then feel as though you've got to um, be supportive um, you've got to understand you know where they're coming from um, at the end of the day there's a lot of love there's a lot of um, deep set emotions going on there's a lot of history um, I feel that the, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which means that there's a lot of changes that are going to be happening, okay, and these changes, you know, are going to bring about positivity, okay, from this point, um, when everybody's eyes are open, when everybody knows what the situation is, and it's been a challenge, um, you are able to say, I dealt with it, and I can hold my head up high, and now I need to look forward. I need to be independent. And I need to know um, that I have got the strength to get through anything that I choose to. Okay, so you're gonna feel very, it's, it's a bit like after a battle, um, holding that kind of, you know, your, your sword up and saying, um, I did it. Okay, that, that, that feeling. To do with your home, there seems to be some emotional decisions and choices that you're gonna be making. Um, I feel that this again is going to make you feel happy. Um, so it's like we're starting off with the hangman and we're finishing on the hangman. So it's like the, the delay, there's a reason for the delay. And either you're having the conversation with someone else um, or it's like an inner knowledge, an inner, you may not want to tell that person that this is what you're picking up for them. All this could be to do with you. Okay, so... There you go. That's what I see for Sagittarius. That's going to be an interesting week, isn't it? <laughs> Sagittarius has mine, by the way, as well. So, yeah. Mouse is free. Oh. <laughs> I bought one of those. Have you not got enough ports for it? Is that what you mean? Because I bought, I bought one of those long, long bars, so I've got extra ports, so I can have my Wi-Fi keyboard and my Wi-Fi mouse. Well, this has its own. It's I, I got free enough free ports for it, but this is a cordless mouse. So yeah, and occasionally you have to load the batteries. Otherwise it just keeps freezing up. And you have to restart it until it doesn't work. And you have to put it on that. And that's a different one that's connected to directly to a, well, this, like this. 
but it's a little bit short of a cord. So when that's on the table, I have to keep it there because I cannot move it to the other side. <laughs> and now it's <laughs> full again. So that's why I said good. my mouse has been freed. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Okay, so we're doing Aries now. Okay. And then that's the end of our astrology for this week. Um, the 10th through to the 16th of January, 2022. Yay. So, and I'm, I'm Aries. So that's going to be interesting. So we're doing the sacred destiny for Aries. What I've been making, I've been making loads of bracelets. Ooh. Well, fluorite, made fluorite. I've made rose quartz. I've made that some um, opalite. Yeah, I've had so much fun. I love it. Well, I just put this elephant and harness on. Yeah. So now it's a <laughs> necklace. <laughs> Nice. Sometimes you have the craziest ideas. Crazy so, is always good. Yeah. And I had to re rearrange this necklace because I had two new ones. Oh, yeah. They're working. Because I have connected them, they work together. So Sometimes I feel energy of the one, then from, so they're working together. So, prediction for the upcoming week for Aries. Okay. You saw them stuck together, came out. So for Aries, for the upcoming week, from Sacred Destiny. And for those who haven't seen it, that's about your deep heart's desire. <clears throat> and for the Aries, you have to be at the beginning of the week. It's important to work on trust. Trust that the universe is there for you. You see the moon shining on the water. And yeah, I just have faith, trust. The uni uh, like I have to say it, the universe has your back. Because the universe wants also to remind you by the middle of the week, you have the power to do anything you want. Nobody can, well, I'll say it bluntly, kill your fire because that power is so strong that if, the, just to ex an, an example, when someone does isn't too nice for you, you have the power and, and when that person starts talking bad to you, you just send that power back so they feel their own anger and you just walk away unscathed because you're so strong. It doesn't harm you when someone says some, uh, some nasty things to you. So keep that in, my, in mind. You're extremely powerful. And towards the end of the week, you're going to feel a lot of fulfillment. And could be you've been through hard times, but it feels to me that by the end of the week, you feel fulfilled, accomplished. You've done the things you need and just look at the, all the things you've done and you can only think, yep. And then you're all you need to do 
Just be, pat yourself on the shoulder. Good job. You did it right. You have done it the way it should have. You stay true to your heart, true to yourself. Well done. And I hear the words, job well done. And I again, I'll mute so your mic, my mic doesn't overwrite yours. Then, um, so the start of the week for Aries, I'm seeing thing. I'm I'm getting the the words loyalty. Loyalty is going to be something that you're going to be looking for, where somebody is is showing signs of being there for you. It may not be that you're looking for them to be there for you as much as you are for them, but it's to do with being appreciated. It's to do with feeling that love that comes back to you um, from, from the other way around. And I'm, I, I feel that you're gonna be taking that leap of faith and showing that you appreciate that loyalty. Um, and it's gonna be to some people, but you're going to be deciding to move away um, and kind of distance yourself from the people that aren't showing those signs of loyalty. Um, and it's just having that, um, that it's like um, trusting that you know that you know what you deserve and you know how things have to be okay so um, it's going to be a difficult time but it's also a time that you can honestly say you know I've got it sussed out now you know before I didn't I was always giving and giving and giving and I wasn't expecting anything back nothing at all but then there comes a time where you find somebody who is then loyal um, to you and you, you then realise that that's actually how all of the friendships and everything should be. Um, and so you start to kind of expect a little bit of that loyalty coming back to you. So I feel that that's going to be the start of the week. I am seeing um, some application forms around you. Or it could be that you are putting your name down for something. You are adding your name to a list. It's like part of you is saying, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to take that leap of faith. This is all about your wishes, your dreams, what you want. OK, we have the Ten of Cups, which is I am who I am. You know, I know I'm a nice person. And if people can't see that, then that's no problem. Um, they don't have to. They don't have to see it because I know, but I don't have to jump through hoops to be their friend or to be in their life. OK, if it's not good enough, then I'm going to move my energy towards other people. So I do feel as if there's, there's kind of lots of lessons that you've had to learn. OK, Aries. OK, um, I'm also seeing that you're going to be making that decision um, to do with money. OK, and you're standing at that crossroads and you don't know what to do. You don't know whether to carry on down the road that is shining the most, that's shining brightly, or whether or not you stay on the road that you're going. Does that make sense? Which doesn't feel that, um, that exciting. It's kind of like the same of the same of the same. Okay, but I feel that this, taking that new chance, taking that new risk, um, basically saying, I believe in myself, um, that is going to be um, something that your spirit guides and your um, your loved ones are going to be clapping and cheering and being very very impressed with you for deciding to finally take that that chance. Okay, and that's going to be wonderful for you. Um, and you know that's how good it's going to be. You've got the sun. Okay, um, the sun. It's going to be shining, really exciting, really really brightly you're going to be very very chuffed with yourself very pleased and this is just indicating that you have the energy <clears throat> and the belief to do what it is that you need to do on that journey on that pathway yes you can achieve it and yes you will be successful that's all you need to know um, and so look out everybody aries is on its way it's on its way to that next level and it's going to be very exciting.
you can tell that that Vera is an Aries, can't you? <laughs> so there you go. I want to be Aries. <laughs> well, I want to be there, Aries. There, there is something in the pipeline, Ellie. Yeah. I can't tell about it yet. Ooh. Oh, exciting. Well, I'm pleased for you because that was really, the energy was really high for that. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That is the astrology. The astrology is there. I'm going to be coming on in the week. I've got a few videos that I want to do. One video that I want to do. I want to do a live one. And if you want me to let you know when I'm coming on, um, it's basically I'm going to be showing people what I did um with my twin flame spell i'm going to be going through that i'm also going to be um putting in a pack um if anybody wants that pack it's a it's a love spell pack okay with all the instructions in basically but i'm going to be showing you how to do it okay it's going to be live and um so if anybody wants to join me um i will let you know as soon as i know a date okay when i'm going to be doing that um so um the other thing is look at what i've been doing so i wanted to show you i've made some mala beads some prayer beads out of lapis lazuli so there's some lovely beads these beads were given to me um by julie Earhart. so thank you for those look at those um these flat ones here and i already had some lapis lazuli so there's a little tassel okay so there's some mala beads, rose quartz bracelet, paired with silver, rhodochrosite, and rhodonite. There's the rhodonite. So there's rhodochrosite, rhodonite. Both of these are very good for letting go of the past emotions. I've got a pale um, amethyst bracelet there, black obsidian, fluorite. I've got lots of fluorite. They're all fluorite and they're all fluorite, believe it or not. So all of those are fluorite. Some of them have got the purple in them, but fluorite comes in all different colors, but um, some of them are the green ones. So they're fluorite. Bronzite and feng shui. Or bronzonite, bronzonite. Um, this is an amethyst with a love um symbol on it there so and that's got shungite as well so it's very good for 5g um energy here i haven't priced these up yet that's lapis lazuli okay with some sparkly beads in between um and more lapis lazuli that's a large bracelet that's medium so i've been doing lots of those a necklace um, for it's a shorter necklace that's for lapis lazuli and then I did a what's that one I think that's lapis I can't see in this light but anyway you've got the infinity sign which kind of goes there okay yeah that's lapis as well yeah so I've been busy girl been enjoying myself <coughs> So I will have another sale soon where I'll go through everything. Yeah. Thank you, Vera. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I, I love and it. Everybody else appreciates it. I love it. Honestly, if anybody would like a reading or animal communication, please contact Vera. Um, it's well worth it. If, if your animal is acting strange and you don't know or your animal stopped eating or drinking, there's, there may be a, something that, that Vera can do, okay? She can do distant healing with them, um, with animals as well. So, you know, um, contact Vera. That's what I say. Some, sometimes when an animal feels their voice get hurt, they can change dramatically 
because sometimes it's just they're trying to tell you what they need, what they want. But yeah, when you don't know it is what you need to look for, I can help you on getting on that type of connection with them. Just explain them. Oh, your mic is soft again. Sorry. Mine overrides over time. All right, lovelies. I'm going to go now. Um, it's been wonderful hanging out with you guys and hanging out with you, Vera. Um, my voice does need a rest now, so I am going to go. <laughs> and um, take care. And please, if you can, send some healing over to Greg um, to try and reduce that blood pressure of his um, and to put some protection around him as well. Okay, I'd really, really appreciate that. And so would he. There were some so, tips about um, crystals. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, thank you, Paige. Um, also, it's going to be psychic development tomorrow. So if anybody wants to see how psychic they are, um, you can come and join us tomorrow. Okay, Monday. It is um, 2.30 p.m. Eastern time, 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. Um, and 7.30 p.m. UK time. Um, and in the Netherlands, that means 8.30 p.m., doesn't it, in the Netherlands? So, so yeah, um, if anybody wants to come join in, the subject that we are going to be concentrating on is clairvoyance, is going with that kind of like clairvoyant messages, using different techniques um, and really enhancing that. So hopefully oh. everybody can come to that. If you haven't got the Zoom code, then please let me know um, and I will send you the link to it. Okay, so. Clairvoyant is the way I use the cards. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow, Ellie.